Hey guys, so hopefully you liked yesterday's episode. Um, I know it was a little uh, uneventful, but you know I tried to get whatever I could. Maybe next time I'll plan it better and I'll do something funner. But thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Right, take care. Hey everyone again. Uh, so it's time to do another car. Uh, I just woke up and I'm still feeling tired. Uh, so I have all my stuff ready to go. On my way to do another car, and it looks like it's gonna be sunny again and hot. So we'll see how it goes. So today it's gonna be a crazy day because I have one car right now. It's 10 a.m. Um, I have to clean the interior. The customer says it's really bad, so we'll see how that looks. Uh, depending on how that looks, I might have another car to do. But I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm already tired. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't know if I didn't get enough sleep or if I was just in too much deep sleep, but I really would use some coffee right now. So I was actually able to pick up green tea lemonade from Starbucks. And now heading to the job. Should be there in about two minutes. Um, usually what I do when I do a car, I listen to podcasts. So if any of you have any rec recommendations to what podcast to listen to, Feel free to let me know. So we're going to get started with the outside first. Um, the sun is getting a little hot, so I want to get started on the outside, even though I'm under cover. Um, just don't want it to be too hot for the windows in the back. See, now that's the exterior all done. Got it nice and waxed, tires coated. So now we're going to work on the inside. So this is what the interior looks like. Let's see what we can do for that. There's a lot of stains on the seats. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to take care of all of that. Clean the carpet, just vacuum it real good, and then get all this dust off, all this gunk off the steering wheel. So we'll see what we can do. So you can see here, if you look underneath here, there's a bunch of trash. Just so you gotta be thorough when you're vacuuming a car like this. So this is what I found that I couldn't vacuum up. You just never know what's in your car. Well, let's see what we can take off from here. I've already started working on the rest of the car, but just want to give it a little something to look at. Put it down. Give it a second. So that looks a lot better now. There's a lot of like oil and grease stains and makeup stains everywhere. So this is pretty much it. We're done here. I'm um, just letting it dry right now. A little air freshener, just get some small details in between, but that's pretty much the difference right there. Got the roof too, little eyeliner cleaning. Uh, it's just gonna wrap it up. All right, guys, so I'm done with the car. Um, I was gonna do another one, but unfortunately, I didn't have time. The person didn't couldn't do it the time I told them. So now it's time to go find something to eat. So let's see what I can find around here and I'll let you guys know what's up. Alright guys, so I just pulled up to one of my first spots in San Diego. I love Mediterranean and Middle Eastern food. So I'm going to one of my favorite spots. The Balboa International, I can't get it. Balboa International Market. So we're going to try it out, get what, see what they have for me today and then I'll show it to you guys. Oh, this place has some really good stuff and not just from the Middle East but everywhere else. They have all these cookies. Yeah, I'm trying not to eat bread but it kind of makes it hard. These little rolls. <sighs> Can't wait for my food because I need to get out of here. I'm too tempted. So in my attempt to uh, just get the food 
and avoid any treats I failed. So this is the food. So pico bide, a little rice there, a little bread, roasted tomato, and it comes it comes with its own salad on the side. It's not bad. I actually love the dressing they use. I don't know what what, what they call it, but it's a really good dressing. I think it's a, a dill dressing of some sort. But in the whole not getting snacks thing or anything that was bread, I actually ended up getting these for Bay because Bay is queen. And then these two for me because you know I just can't help myself. I did end up get, getting a drink as well called Jupi. Never had it, so I'm going to try that. And some bell peppers for home because why not? just to close close out my day I just got to a car wash um, so a self-service car wash and normally I tell people to avoid places like this when it comes to cleaning their cars but my car has been a mess for a while my car unfortunately has been underneath a tree every day since we got our apartment and there's a bunch of tree sap everywhere we've been trying to get a new parking spot but this is what it's like now and I'm gonna give it a quick wash Make sure it's all cleaned up. So now the car is all washed. I'll explain why I used a uh, self-service car wash rather than you know doing the whole thing by myself. Um, first of all, the it had a lot of a, a lot of. Uh, gunk on it, a lot of tree sap, and it does have a coating on it, and so it is protected against that, but it's just too much for me to uh, do it at home, um, I have to do it underneath a tree, and so it just doesn't make it any easier, so I'd rather just do it at a self service wash where they have a pressure washer that I can just spray on and just spray off. I don't use the brush at all, I never recommend using the brush it's a really severe you know, condition um, but I don't use the brush at all because of the coating the, the spray with the water pressure just takes away all the stuff over, over the paint and then uh, I just rinse it off there's spotless um, water and then I just dry it off with the air and it's the best thing I can do while using those services but now the car is clean on the outside and today we just got a new parking spot so I don't have to be underneath the tree anymore so hopefully it'll only get a little better longer. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. I'm heading home now. I'm tired. Um, gotta spend time with the family and uh, you know, get ready for next week. I have a couple of points next week. But uh, that's it for today. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you do like it, please like and subscribe for it. Have an Instagram follow us on Instagram too if you want to see more of the results from today's car detailing. Um, I'll post those up there. Alright, that is it. Thank you guys.